everyone welcome in crochet life and stuff with Deborah with a flip through all recipes magazine for April and May of 2022 little tagline on the side together we cook united we eat yeah I like that this one didn't come wrapped up in plastic yay bonus um so I got my address on the front I'm covering that up you know and it was very green I was looking at this I'm like were they compensating for St. Patrick's Day? What? That was March? No. The green is all about spring, apparently. Get your green on, it says. Now, this stuff that looks like green ice cream kind of is. Uh, it says pineapple and basil sorbet. I don't know how I feel about that. Love basil. Love pineapple. Putting them together, though, for an ice cream or a sorbet? Hmm. More taste, less waste, budget stretching, eco-friendly, use it up ideas. I am all for that. I do not like to waste leftovers. Now starting it up, they've always got a very pretty table of contents. They give you a nice big picture. They spell things out. They have sections like your know, recipe index, mixer, trending, blah, blah, blah. Table of contents does continue with dinner fix good for you family um yeah good for you not like good for you no good for you like yummy good stuff oh here we go we've got a chef john recipe in there and i will probably link him again beautiful pictures i always love the photography in this magazine it is wonderful lots of adverts though this is something that is always i think a bonus in a magazine in a magazine like this you got a recipe index and they give you codes and tell you what each thing means and they've got it broken down by, you know, could it be vegetarian or vegan or gluten free or is there a how to video on the interwebs? Yes, we all like tutorials and a recipe video is just a tutorial that you cook by instead of crochet by. Okay. Um, letter from the editor, always a good read. Just, just good stuff. Oh, more adverts. This sounds really good. Chicken and apple sausages. I've had some of those. They're actually pretty good. I know that's an advert that I just showed you. But yeah. Love me some different kind of sausages. Adverts even for the kitties. I'm not going to show you the kitties. <laughs> an advert for M&Ms. Like they need adverts. Hello, everybody's going to buy an M&M, right? Apparently, there's a cookie crunch in the middle of that M&M. They're starting it off with mixers this time with uh, different beverage ideas. Take your tea to the garden, it says. Oh, what a pretty setup. You know, if I had a setup like this, I'm just sure that there would be ants or bees or something invading it, right? I'm in Georgia, land of outside bugs. And inside bugs, if you're not careful. They just fly in and everything else. But it all looks quite yummy. Oh, yes. These beautiful loose teas. Mm. I can just imagine the smell of those because there's nothing like that loose fresh tea. Oh, these are fancy. Fancy little sandwiches and stuff on the fancy crackers. Do you eat fancy at your house? I make a dip and I scoop it up. I mean, that, that's about as fancy as I'm going to get. Oh, they show you a nice room, a nice kitchen that is based on some greens. That is actually really pretty. Normally when I think greens in kitchens, I'm thinking that avocado green from the 70s. Yes, I'm that old. And um, this is not it. That is a nice pleasant green. So, yeah, talking about induction cooktops as well. I've never cooked on an induction cooktop. Have you? Back in the day, all we had was that electric with the coil, and I hate those. And I've got a gas stove now, which is great. But what do you think about the induction cooktops? Um, Offbeat Adventures, talking about taking trailers and camping and things. Um, hey, here we go. A little thing about New Mexico. El Bado Motel and some different things that are right around there. That's very, very cool. This is a neat little section. 
Baby plants, big benefits. I'm actually growing some microgreens and stuff. So I'm kind of excited to take a look at that. I know, right? I'm growing things. What? Gadgets that you either do or don't have to have. I have an immersion blender. I don't have one of those egg doohickeys. I just use a knife. Hello. A uh, veggie chop little food processor. I don't have one of those. I have a big food processor that almost never gets pulled out and used because I just chop, chop, chop. And one of those shears to cut all the foods. I know, like if you go to a Korean restaurant, especially a Korean barbecue, they're going to bring the, the shears over and cut your food. That's pretty common. I've just never done it. I have done it for a few like herby things and stuff, but not that necessarily. So that would take some getting used to. Look at that beautiful a pineapple. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Makes me thirsty just wanting some pineapple, right? Oh, speaking of pineapples, do you ever watch um, Bailey Sarian and her dark history? She's also got a uh, music, not music, murder mystery makeup Mondays. She is wild. She relates the history to you in a very real way. She went through a whole thing about the truth about Hawaii. Wow. That just brought it up because there's a big thing about pineapples in there. Pineapples are not native to Hawaii. Did you know that? Anywho. <clears throat> a pineapple upside down cake. Isn't that pretty? That's just so cute. But here's that pineapple and basil sorbet. Again, not too convinced about that. I would have to try it if somebody else made it. I'm not going to go make a batch just to try that. But I will make some of this. Oh my, yes. Grilled teriyaki shrimp and pineapple. I'm all over that. Mini naan pizzas with pineapple and pork. That's the only time pineapple belongs on a pizza, y'all, is if it's with a real salty pork product. But I love using naan to make little personal pizzas. Naan is a flatbread. It's usually with Indian cuisine. Wonderful, delicious stuff. Tacos al pastor from the Instant Pot. So not exactly traditional, but I bet they get a lot of that same flavor in there. Oh, I could go for a taco right now. Or three. Yeah. Ooh, a whole section on hummus. Hummus helpers. Different things you can mix into your hummus. What I like with my hummus is just a really floral olive oil, a really good finishing olive oil. A little pour it on top. Ain't nothing better. But that's just me. I would try any of that stuff, though, because I'll try, you know, just about anything. Taste. More taste, less waste. Okay. Yeah. And of course, I've got some quiche there. Quiche is a great way to get rid of your leftovers from the night before. I mean, seriously. You can put any pretty much vegetable that you have floating around. Put it in the quiche. It's all good. But the whole section on a loaded vegetarian quiche, and that just sounds yummy. I make something that's not exactly a quiche, not exactly a frittata, but it's like a merging of the two. Yummy. Just make sure you have a frying pan that you can put in the oven. That's all you got to do. Strawberry muffins. Oh, my goodness. Oh, those with a big wad of butter when they're nice and warm. Yes, please. Vegetable scrap stock. You know, that's something that a lot of people don't think of. When you have stuff that maybe you're not going to use, the stems of the mushrooms, the, you know, the ends of things, Put, save them for your stock. Make a stock because you're going to strain all that out anyway, but they've still got some flavor in there. Pickle fried chicken. All right, y'all. I think they're marinating it in the pickle juice. That is the phone. I'm not answering it. Um, <laughs> spring cleaning cookies. Oh. You use leftover chips or pretzels, chocolate, whatever dried fruit you have on hand, and that last handful of mixed party nuts. I don't know about y'all, but we never have chips left over. I'm a fat chick, okay? I love me some chips. That is always fat chick approved. Wise guy cooked to follow. Something about a content creator named Caleb Wise, W-Y-S-E. 
some great pictures of fruits and veggies in his garden and stuff. That could be a fun read. Caleb's spring spinach salad. Why do people have to name things that are hard to say? Come on now. Look at that though. That is a pretty salad. I love whipping up a big salad. I don't just eat fatty foods, okay? I really do like, you know, yummy stuff that isn't necessarily junk food. Overstuffed herb omelet, or if you're not from America, herb omelet. Yeah. What is in there? Garlic, of course, gotta have garlic. Salt, pepper, cumin, turmeric, eggs. Seven eggs in this thing, so it's a big thing for a multi-people. Half a cup of fresh Italian parsley, a third of a cup of cilantro, three tablespoons of fresh dill, lemon zest, lemon juice. Oh, yes. It looks kind of green and weird, but it sounds absolutely delicious. There's a, oh, huh, strawberry and rhubarb shortcakes. Oh, strawberry and rhubarb is just divine first time I ever had any real good taste of rhubarb was when I went to visit a friend who had moved to Wisconsin hi Cheryl and she fixed a rhubarb crumble kind of a rhubarb something and I was like oh my god I must eat all of this it's so good and yes I've been in love with it ever since oh scallops mascarpone try to channel Giada there but doesn't that look good? Nicely seared scallops. Mm. Yes, we're into the dinner fix section now. Caprese salad with grilled flank steak. You know, it's a shame that flank steak and skirt steak and all of that have just gotten so blasted expensive. Yes, you go to the store now and it used to be the cheap cut because nobody wanted it. Well, now everybody wants it and it's expensive now. Panko crusted air fryer mahi mahi. Where's that Mahi Mahi? They got a little bitty picture of it right there. That sounds good. I love a good seafood, but the scallops just sound wonderful to me. Chicken, pepper, and snap pea stir fry. Stir fry is a great way to use a bunch of different vegetables and they still keep their, their fresh sort of taste without, they don't get mushy and you're not boiling them. Zucchini noodle primavera. You can make a noodle out of just about anything, including zucchini. Just don't overcook it or else it will turn to mush. And you don't want that. Nobody wants mushy zucchini. This says spring in a skillet. Simple one skillet dinners showcase the invigorating flavors and colors of spring. Arugula, asparagus, cilantro, green onion, snow peas, and more. But wait, there's more. Here's something that I, okay, it's they, good thing they gave you a pronunciation guide. Bon sale. Bon, bon sale. I'm sure I'm still saying that wrong. But it does look good. There's a batter and you essentially make a batter and you're wrapping stuff in it. It's, it's a not tortilla or a not quesadilla. Okay. One skillet quinoa with black beans is this one right here. Oh, man. Ricotta, bacon, and arugula skillet pizza. Yes, please. That looks delicious. But I love pizza anything, don't you? It's all about the pizza. Beef stir fry with snow peas. Again, with the stir fries, that's always a good one skillet meal. Now, sometimes if you're doing a stir fry, you have to start. Cook something, take it out, put it on the side for a minute, cook something else, and then you recombine it. But you're still just using one skillet. Okay, just get out of a plate aside to do some other things with. Chicken, asparagus, and mushroom skillet. I love fresh asparagus. Oh, it's wonderful. Just don't overcook it. I love to just saute it with a bunch of garlic. Yes. Mm, and some other seasonings. Yum. Simple sides. There's a lot of green in here. A lot of green. Butter smashed peas with radishes. That is that one. Sugar snap salad with lemon and something. Lemon and dill. I think it's that one. A lot of green, a lot of green. Sauteed asparagus and mushrooms. Yes, please. Always. Green shakshuka. I have never seen shakshuka done in a green way instead of with red sauce. What is in there for the sauce? 
Oh, I'd have to get way into it, but there's avocados and every other blasted thing in there, and that sounds really good. I've never made shakshuka because the hubby really can't. He likes tomato stuff. Tomato stuff does not like him. His stomach just says, nay, nay. Okay. A whole section on honey, or at least a whole page on it about honey hints with things you can do with honey besides eat it. Hair conditioner, nail care, face mask. I'm not gonna waste my good honey spreading it all over my face. But isn't that a pretty picture? Right? They have a section on make it a meal. Cook this plus this and this and just interchange things. Just gives you some ideas. Because sometimes the hardest thing the hardest thing about being adult, an adult is having to decide what's for dinner every day. Every day. Dinner has to happen. Oh, this is an advertisement. But gosh, it's pretty. I don't mind an advert so much when, when they make it really pretty, right? And of course, the card getting you to subscribe, which I already do. This is not sponsored. I subscribe to this magazine with my own cash money because I like it. Oh, and here's the good for you section. Kale and chicken sausage healthy egg muffins. Despite the mention of kale, which a lot of people hate, I don't mind it. It looks really good. Um, I had a chicken sausage with kale that I purchased at uh, Publix in their meat section. You still had to cook it yourself. It was flipping delicious. I'll go back and get more. I got them when they were on sale to try them out. Handheld health. Like I said, what's with the hard to pronounce things, okay? And they tell you all about the healthy stuff and all in there. Swiss chard and ham. Oh, yes. I love me some Swiss chard. We have a little um, farm stand place that's not too far from us. And they always have the most beautiful Swiss chard. And I'm like, give me a bunch of it, please. Meat-free makeovers. Indulge or healthy. Um, those are the pictures there. The indulge is lamb and beef gyros. And the go healthy is roasted chickpea gyros. Okay pretty good stuff we do some meat-free meals at the house not purposely to be i'm going meat-free today which is because it's good you get some good king oyster mushrooms they have the you can have the texture and the feel of having a good solid meat like chicken but without having meat and there's a lot of benefits to that um here's another indulge or healthy the indulge is cream cheese jalapeno hamburgers i don't remember which one is which because i can't see from here that's the indulge and the healthy is portobello burgers with goat cheese. Oh my gosh. That's hard to decide. I want them both. Can I have one of each? Chick, yeah. Um, some more adverts, uh, stuff about the community where you can log in and, you know, try to win stuff and things, which I usually forget to do. I've got a page that won't turn. I got a coupon for Medjool Dates. Okay. The dish on fish, talking about pregnancy and seafood and some safer, the safest options over there. So that's a nice little list to take a look at. Oh, a whole bunch of fish. Okay. A lot of detailed information about fish, about the stuff in the industry that, that's wrong with the industry. Um, yeah. That's, it's, it's good information because there's a lot out there a lot of people don't realize about fish. And there's more adverts here. And then the family section. Why can't adults just have cute things? Why is it always for the kids? I like that where they've taken the little, you know, the chives and made little flowers out of the tomatoes. That's stinking cute. I mean, I wouldn't take that much time to do that. Oh, 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 maybe I might. Look at this. They're talking about making the kids get involved and use it. They're more likely to eat it. It's garden focaccia. Um, gosh, I love this stuff. Something about, oh, a whole section about cats. And how to know what your cat is thinking and stuff. Yeah, that's always good to know. You know, I have a cat. He's very affectionate and, you know, he lets us know. We're used to his sign. Now, other cats may have different signs and you got to think about that. Speaking of, I don't know where he is. If he doesn't show up and I don't pick him up and show you, I'll stick a picture of him at the end. Um, oh, I wish my pantry looked like this. My pantry is behind me with the door closed because it's a hot mess in there. Because I'm just, I haven't taken the time 
to get rid of the clutter and make it pretty, but we have a really big pantry by design. Favorites you loved? Colette's Smoked Sausage Frittata. Okay. Let's, let's have some. Let's share it. Mom's Scallop Potatoes and Tangy Honey Glazed Ham. Now that looks like a yummy meal, doesn't it? This is my lunchtime that I'm recording this and I haven't eaten a bite, so I'm going to pout. And this is the Chef John recipe. Okay. Chef John's Grilled Lamb with Mint and Orange Sauce. For one thing, isn't that beautiful? And for another thing, if you haven't checked out Chef John yet, if you like cooking type things, you need to do so. I'll have him linked because he is a hoot. And he puts out some good stuff. Uh, ham and Swiss sliders. We've all seen sliders before. Doesn't mean they're not beautiful. And i am got to turn the page. Oh, oh my. Very berry cheesecake. Tell me you wouldn't flap a lip over that. Come on. That looks so good. Oh, and these are those fancy sandwich things from earlier. Y'all, I don't even know anybody that fancy. Mint julep iced tea, though, and apricot cream cheese thumbprints. Okay, obviously, these are the thumbprints up here, and that is the tea. Tis purty, tis purty. Cool as a cucumber. Great for Cinco de Mayo. No, tequila is great for Cinco de Mayo. But you could make it refreshing. There. A cucumber refresher. No alcohol. But Cinco de Mayo is also my anniversary. So I usually manage to have a margarita. That's pretty much it. I got all that out of my system before I was even in my 20s. Anyhow, that is the magazine, y'all. Just a quick flip through. It is a fun magazine. Let's see if it has a price on there. I don't see a price on here for purchase on the newsstand. But if you see it, it is worth a pickup. And um, like subscriptions are always cheaper. I enjoy getting the handheld thing so I can flip through it, so I can show y'all, so that I can drool over the pictures because, yeah. Anyhow, I do thank you for coming by for this little flip through of all recipes, and I hope to see you very, very soon. Check out my playlist, leave me a thumb if you would, and let me know, have you ever cooked anything out of these magazines? Mmm, now I'm hungry. <laughs> Bye, y'all.